Hello everyone, it's your amigo Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy, Texas. I'm super excited to show you this brand new 2021 Force River Vibe 28BH. So the Vibes are our entry level brand for fiberglass. With this you will get an aluminum frame and they really pack a lot of value. Uh, they're very lightweight and easy to tow. It's also the shortest RV we have with a separate bunk room. So this is a very popular model. Uh, you know, you don't need to go out and upgrade your truck. Most vehicles can tow this pretty well, uh, like an F-150 or 1500, something like that. But you do have a separate bunk room here for the kiddos with a dedicated AC, as well as storage overhead and a place to put a television. So I just wanted to pop back here, show you the room. You do have the pocket door here, which is more space efficient uh, for privacy, but you do have a really great uh, living room here. So it does include a large TV. You do have pretty nifty storage here, it goes pretty far back. Main control panel right here by the door. So it makes it easy to open and close your slide, operate your awning, check your tanks, your lights as well. Here we have one large slide. It does feature a trifold couch, so you can really sleep, let's see, four in the back, four up here. So you can sleep 10 in a 28 foot camper very easily. This folds right out. It's super comfortable. Also U-shaped dinette makes into a bed as well. You have room for the whole family to sit here, uh, enjoy a meal, play a card game, whatever you want. You also have storage underneath on both sides. It goes all the way back. Coming up to the bathroom here, it's a huge bathroom. Uh, a lot of brands are going to this, uh, you know, walk through bathroom because it's very space efficient and you have just a huge, really wide bathroom here. Plenty of room to uh, change clothes, take care of business and everything. You also have a large shower as well. I'm just under six feet tall and still have plenty of headroom, especially with the skylight. And it is a very wide shower as well. Uh, if you can see that plenty of arm room here. Nice thing about the toilet, uh, you know, you're not going to feel all scratched up on this one. Got plenty of room, uh, very wide open. Here we have another pocket door to the master. So here we have a ward on each side for hanging clothes, overhead storage. And I really like the vibes because they do feature uh, these bins here for storage. So you can unlatch the uh, strap here and easily pull them in and out without lifting the mattress. And you do also have storage for shoes underneath here as well. Really great thing about the Vibes, they feature these blackout shades, which are really nice. You know, a lot of the paper ones uh, are not really great to deal with, but this will save you um, definitely electricity, uh, much better for privacy. Uh, you do have on this side, uh, USB chargers and standard standard household outlets. You can also mount a TV here. Uh, the Vibes do feature high efficiency ductwork, so to keep it nice and cool, they also have great insulation. Uh, here we have a medicine cabinet. For additional storage, grounded power connections for a blow dryer trimmer, whatever you need. Window, place to hang your towel, additional power, storage here. More storage here. You also have a fan in here as well. So what I would recommend is getting a max air guard. You can put that on top. Uh, so whenever you have that on, have the fan on, have a window open when you're going down the road, it'll keep it 10 to 15 degrees cooler. So when you arrive to your destination, your ACs will not take as long to cool down. Uh, but really with this RV, it's gonna be able to keep it plenty cool as uh, two ACs, block foam insulation uh, and things like that. So here, just gonna show you the living space again. These have really great cabinetry, very nice. I uh, love their backsplashes on these as well. It's not wallpaper, it's actual material and it's a very attractive design. Do you have a residential power, oh, sorry, residential power, residential style faucet. Uh, we just got this one in, so we're still checking it in. Uh, so you got these bumper caps that go on the end. You have a doohickey, that's a technical term for uh, drying dishes here. It's a one piece undermount stainless steel sink, more sanitary uh, than plastic. And of course, sanitation is more important now than ever. It's not gonna stay with coffee or soda as well. Plenty of counter space, residential power microwave. This will very quickly and evenly heat food. We do have a range hood that actually works. It will have been outside. Some are just there for looks. You also have LED lights instead of incandescent bulbs. So it will last much longer. Here we have a glass insert for additional counter space and you have the root two burners for simmering, front one for boiling. Blue LED, uh, LED lights in the uh, knobs here. And you also do have um, igniters in the oven so you don't have to manually uh, bend down and light it. You also have a light there as you can see. And we have additional storage here for pots and pans. This is a 10 cubic foot all electric refrigerator. 
Now, the great thing about this one is that it cools down much faster than conventional ammonia drip fridges, and you do not have any uh, propane elements to take up space. So you have much more interior space there. Uh, it does have a large television, upgraded sound system, uh, does have CD and DVD, Bluetooth, HDMI in, and a charger here as well, and additional storage. Breaker box is right down here, very easy to get to if you ever need to uh, troubleshoot. Safety device, that is a duct for the propane furnace. We're not gonna need it today. I know it's gonna be about 100 degrees, but whenever you do, uh, that will be there for your propane furnace. Uh, control panel. And also these do use Coleman Mac ACs, which is much preferred over other brands. Uh, great warranty. Getting parts is very easy. Uh, generally speaking, you also do have these sliders. Uh, if you want it to go, you know, more evenly through the coach, you just close them. If you're, everybody's sitting here, you open these up, it drops all the cold air. Uh, you do have one thermostat right over there by the door. Additional power here. And coming back to the bunk room to give you a better look, let me just scoot back for a second. So you have the uh, three single bunks, and then you have the cube couch that folds into a bed as well. Nice thing is you do have a ladder to get up to the bunks. A lot of brands don't even include ladders, but you do have one here. And of course, uh, nifty storage space down there. Uh, power outlets on the top and bottom bunk. You have a window that opens with a screen. Actually, two windows open with screens. And uh, you do have that for privacy as well. Total of three windows back here. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the bunk room. Second AC is controlled with the knobs directly on the unit. Let me go ahead and take you outside here. The vibes are also now being constructed with the uh, PVC roof, which is virtually maintenance free. Uh, much better than the more permeable materials out there. Uh, again, this is the Vibe 28BH. It does have the extra large door handle with three folding positions. Some RVs have tiny little plastic handles, but this one has a three folding position. It's got the awesome uh, upgraded steps as well, like you found on a fifth wheel, very secure. And you can adjust the feet to different ground heights if needed. Uh, it does have a propane and electric water heater as well, not just propane uh, as some of the brands have. Your stabilizers are electric all the way around. It's got a huge electric awning with white LEDs, so you can see what's going on around you. If you would like to hook up a TV outside, you have power connections and cable here, exhaust for the propane furnace, so on colder days, you can gather some warmth. We have marine grade speakers out here with LED lights, so you can play music just inside, just outside or both. This is the uh, exhaust for the range hood window in the kitchen area, awesome outdoor kitchen. Uh, you know, a lot of brands are making their outdoor kitchens more compact, but with this one, you really have everything you need in a small space. So it does have a thermal induction cooktop, not uh, propane. So you don't have to worry about, you know, your flame going out. It does include a nifty uh, skillet up front that I'll show you here. It does have a 1.7 cubic foot refrigerator as well outside for your beverages. It does have a spray port for cold water as well. Uh, so you have pressurized water out here for an outdoor shower, removable sink, does include a uh, water hose gun here, as well as the hose itself, of course. Here we have the front storage with the uh, fancy little skillet here that you get. Pass-through storage, as I said, the frame on the Vibes is aluminum, so it's stronger and lighter. Nice thing about the storage doors, you do have magnets here, not clips, so you don't have to worry about them breaking as they tend to do. Uh, more electric stabilizers in the front. It is ready for solar. If you'd like to add it with this XLR connection, it's a 10 amp. And these use the uh, Furion solar setup there, so you wanna make sure you match that up. That will run your 12 volt systems, charge your battery, keep your lights on, stuff like that. Here we have the two propane tanks up front. Great thing about our dealership, if we can earn your business, we will wash it, detail it, do a full systems check, uh, top off the tanks, install the battery back here, and give you a good hour demonstration with our technician to show you how everything works. It does have a battery disconnect if you ever want to store your RV, that will help it from uh, depleting. White LED in the cap so you can see what's going on. Here we have the seven way plug. Now your vehicle needs this. This communicates lights, brakes, and if you have direct line charge, it charges your battery. So make sure you have one of those. This is a two and five sixteenths ball. We do have equalizer hitches available. Here we have a light in the front jack and you can just raise and lower it like so. Other side of the passenger storage, fresh water connection. So if you want to go off the grid, uh, what you can do is fill this tank and use the built in electric pump to, uh, you know, wash your hands, take a shower, flush your toilet, stuff like that. If you want to take water down the road with you, 
Here we have our black tank flush. This is very important if you don't have this, uh, you have to do it the old fashioned way, drag a hose in through your camper with a wand and stick it out toilet. Nobody wants to do that. So as long as your black tank's full, you just hook up a water hose and put some nozzles in the tank, clean it out, reduce the smell, gives you more accurate tank reading. Here we have that side shower with hot and cold water as well, which is great. So you have two showers on this one. City water connection for pressurized water. So all you have to do is plug in there with a uh, water pressure regulator to protect your plumbing and you have full water. Uh, here we have dumps for the gray. So it looks like you got two grays and a black right here. Uh, nice thing about the vibes, their slides are solid, so they have great insulation. Uh, here we have the main power. This is 50 amps. You have two ACs, so we have a little adapter here to go down to 30. So that's where the main power is. There's a slide. This is a uh, cable system. Uh, and that's really about it. On the back, it's ready for a Fury on backup camera. If you want to add one, backup cameras can save lives. We have a bumper to put your uh, suit hose in here to keep your RV clean. Spare tire and cable and satellite inlets here. Okay guys, again, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV in Sealy. I'd love to earn your business. Uh, please visit our website, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, call us, chat with us, come stop on by. We're here during the week from eight to six and Saturday, eight to four. I'd love to meet you. Thanks for watching.